Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project. Magnetic reversal news and Shinrin Yoku bringing you an Iceland volcanic update. Wednesday, April 7th, 10 p.m. Mountain Time, 2021. Now, the original eruption and a new fissure eruption, the Easter eruption, have merged and a third opening in the fissure is occurring and we're going to walk it through. We'll walk you through it from the 6th. Well, let's just take you right through the 8th update here. A new fissure opened up and started erupting between the Glendon Galdor eruption, the original eruption, and the second day of Easter eruption. And the new eruption fissure is between the two. But according to statistics, they have merged. And some evidence, which we're going to show you in a moment live. The lava fields have now merged and are now one large lava field from Glendon Galdor down to Meridalir Valley. There is one continuous fissure pouring, well, lava in multiple directions currently. The eruption continues at the same slow rate, which is good news, even with several new event vents erupting. And it seems like the activity is moving up and down the fissure. One of the media outlets lost their first webcam in the melee. And there's the evidence there, melted wires because uh, not, not a lot of people were expecting this and evacuations have been issued. The fissures might merge at a future point and start erupting as one large fissure. It's impossible to know. There has not been any deflation detected on the GPS. We're gonna show you that data, which means, well, it means that the eruption is gonna to continue to go on. The deflation would show that the ground is dropping down and the lava is now being evacuated from the chamber, but the pressure is still positive. And here we are live. We're gonna just, this is the newest, the second day Easter eruption. And just listen to the sound. The sound is just fantastic. And this is the Me Meradalir Valley the new valley, the new eruptive fissure, the old eruption over here, and the central fissure now opening up. So it's one continuous line of eruption with fantastic sound. And we're live over at the eruption. Wow. You guys ever remember, you remember the movie from the 1950s, Crack in the World? Wow, I suggest you go get that. This is some fantastic footage. The sound is almost eerie. Well, that is the one uh, live stream, and here is another angle, which doesn't e have an equally as awesome audio, even though the volume is way up. And so that might even be Bob. That might be Bob. I don't. I think they're going to a commercial there. But let's just listen to a little bit more of the new eruption and blow it up here for those that have been unable to get to it. So the original eruption is about a half a mile away. The new fissure is here, and this is flowing into a different valley, which is now filling. And the, the both have merged, and they may become one continuous fissure eruption, as we predicted weeks ago would happen. This is live, which makes it even more awesome. Wow, I will leave you links to all the fantastic footage coming out of Iceland, and I will leave you links to the inflationary map. I will also quickly go over with you the earthquakes happening on the Reykjanes Peninsula. Uh, there has been a slight uptick, and this larger magnitude quake signaled the opening of the fissures between the fissures. This signaled the opening of the new fissure and we do have some seismicity across Iceland we should be worried about in some of the major volcanic areas like Katla and Badabunga 
and even up in the Chernus fracture zone. So the seismicity is still there for more events to occur. And like we said a month, a month ago at least, is that when we did a historical analysis, when the Reykjanes Ridge splits, one of the other larger volcanoes also goes off at the same time. And at the same time, Sofre de St. Vincent volcano in the West Indies, which we first reported on months ago, has grown into a gigantic lava field, very reminiscent of what we're seeing happening in Iceland and a very atypical version, but what we're also seeing, these lava rivers, Ipacaya volcano in Guatemala is now threatening populated areas because the lava it continues to throw flow down the eruption site. Hope you got something out of the video. Iceland is splitting. Crack in the world at the mid-ocean ridge is now perpendicular to the ridge, actually. Very interesting fissure off of the main mid-ocean ridge, producing the same type of tholeitic magma that comes from deep in the mantle. So, and these are typically long-lived decades to hundreds of years with decades of uptick and down drop and ongoing for long periods of time. Hope you got something out of the video. That's a boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. If you live in Iceland, well, you know what Iceland is. And worldwide volcanoes are increasing to erupt, not in any type of catastrophic way, but a slow uptick day by day. Thanks to all our one-time donors, the people that share this video. And if you haven't, subscribe to the channel now. Be safe. We love you. Click on one of the other boxes illuminating now to gain more knowledge. And be safe. And that's boom. No, 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 no.